Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Elaine of Elaine Makes It and today I'll be showing you how to make a DIY Valentine's Day greeting card using my two favorite elements, watercolor and calligraphy. This is a card that we will be doing in today's tutorial. I've tried to keep the design pretty simple that anyone can follow along. I really hope you enjoy the tutorial and enjoy yourself in the process and try not to aim uh, for perfection because the beauty lies in the imperfections first let's talk about supplies you will require a watercolor palette of your choice with your favorite colors then you will need watercolor paper here i'm using 200 gsm watercolor paper a pencil to draft your design a couple of brushes uh, the first one here is a pony brush from Camlin. I think it's size 6. And the second one is a details brush. You can use whatever brush you have lying around at home. You will require a jug of water, a sprayer to wet your paints, a paper napkin to wipe off your brushes, a brush pen and a jelly roll pen. So first I will fold my watercolor paper to form a card you can use a scoring instrument if you have one next i'm drafting my design so i wanted to stack four hearts and that's the design that i'm sketching make sure you sketch lightly and so that you don't have very harsh pencil marks on your card you can keep tweaking the design till you are satisfied like how I'm doing here. After you are satisfied with your sketch, you can then go on and draft your calligraphy. Here I'll just be writing Happy Valentine's Day. But you can write some cute puns or funny one-liners. Next, I will be using my kneadable eraser to pick up some of the lead from the paper. But it doesn't completely erase the lines. After you finish erasing the pencil marks, we move on to painting. I'll be using primarily two colors. The first one is Madder Rose by Windsor & Newton. And the second color is Vermilion Hue by Camlin. So I'm going to alternate between these two colors. The painting does not have to be perfect. As you can see, I have definitely not followed uh, the original design that was sketched. For the first heart, I used vermilion hue and for the second I used madder rose and I alternated the two colors in this manner. The first layer looked really light but I wanted the hearts to be very vibrant Hence, I went in with the most saturated uh, color. I have chosen pink here because I associate Valentine's Day with lots of pinks and reds. But you can go in for any color that you like. If you are not into pinks, you can try uh, yellow hearts or maybe even blue hearts. And this is how it looks after the hearts are painted. Next, I wrote Happy Valentine's Day using my Tombow Furano Suke soft tip brush pen. So this is how it ended up looking. I am erasing off any 
extra pencil marks that might be remaining i'll be using a jelly roll pen to form dotted lines inside the heart these dotted lines make the hearts look so much more cuter than they already are i feel the card looks too plain right now with just the hearts so i decided to go in and add some tiny hearts at random places on the card you don't have to follow any particular order while placing these tiny hearts just make sure that they are very light so that they don't uh, take away the attention from the main big four hearts that we have done You can add the name of a beloved in these big hearts if you wish. I have chosen to keep it blank. And this is how the card looks in the end. I hope you followed along and made the card. If you post your work to Instagram, do tag me at Ellie makes it I would love to see. If you want to go one step ahead and make an envelope for the card, I've got tutorials that I'll link here which you can binge watch. and make cute gifts for your beloved see you next time